Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Satisfactory, where we have a lot to do today. We have to get some quick crash sites uh, picked up. We got to get some uh, a lot of uh, biomass so we can do uh, set up several biomass generators so we can set up our starter factory. So we got a lot to do, so we're going to get started. I've been hanging up here checking out my current factory. It's our little starter factory we did last time. We're just going to get started. First thing I need to do is actually do some crash sites, but we need to make sure that we load our current factory with some biomass so that it's gonna run while I'm gone. I went ahead and farmed some biomass real fast uh, after the last episode, just so that I can set this up. Then we're just gonna take a few supplies with us and we're gonna go out and hit the crash sites we can in the local area. We'll do a bit quick run through it so we don't waste too much time. Um, there's lots of things we can pick up. We can use tournament for tickets real fast. Also, we can get a few uh, hard drives and get a few alternate recipes. There's a couple of good early game recipes that we're going to shoot for. That's enough. Of other options that we're going to need that we can do. Like, we can just pick up some leaves or something, so even if you didn't have biomass extra, it'd be fine. We can put back one of these plates. We just need some wire. I'll have to come back and uh, optimize this. We're actually gonna, we're gonna, when we get to, once we get the, uh, once we get our, I cannot speak. Once we get our hard drives and some biomass done, we'll unlock the hard, we'll unlock uh, the chainsaw. We'll get some biomass. We'll farm a bunch of that. We'll do that real quick. We'd like to do a montage, chopping up, and then we'll get started on our our actual starter factory, which we can finish up tier one and two. All right, now we're gonna get started. We're gonna go hunt crash sites. We'll see if we can speed this up for you so you can see the short version. several crash sites we were able to get a good good haul we got a couple of slugs blues and yellows we got some heat sinks and motors 
heavy modular frames, ace industrial beams, computers, circuit boards, lots of screws, and at least three hard drives, which we're actually now going to see what our first alternate recipe options are. Ah, so this is a great one, early game, mid game, late game. It's great because it removes screws. Um, but early game, I like casted screw. Don't need to do it, but it really just simplifies the process. It's the same ratio as going from iron rods to screws, but it just saves you power and buildings. So for our starter factory, this is a great one. We'll probably get this. I do research before I unlock um, assembly. So when you unlock assembly, you get rotors and modular frames and other stuff, and that adds more alternate recipes to the mix. So by doing it before I unlock it, I can get a couple of these really good ones early. This stitched iron plate we're gonna get and casted screw. Uh, useful early game, late game, if unless you're using screws, it's not very useful. There's other recipes, but early game, I really like it. So I'm gonna get that first. And then we're gonna put in another hard drive. Then we're gonna unload everything. Let's see what happens, this is what we need here. Parts assembly, we're not gonna do that. We want obstacle clearing. Perfect, we're gonna unlock this first. Screws, cables. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that can... Thank you. Yeah. Now what we need is a chainsaw, which is what we're going to build. And we also have access to solid biomass, which is what we need to set up now, because for our starter factory, we're going to be setting up a chunk of machines and our couple little biomass burners aren't going to do the trick and we need biofuel to do it. Well, we could rush to tier three and get coal and just set up a coal power plant with a little bit of hand building, but we're going to go a little bit more the intended way and we're going to get our biomass burners and we're going to set up our starter, starter factory. So we got our chainsaw. Now we just need a little bit of biomass, all the biomass to power it. All right, we have biomass, we have research running, we have our chainsaw. What we're gonna need to do now is actually go get some biomass. First, I think we're gonna set up a little production line for our return so that we can have something making biomass for us. We don't have to hand bale it. So we're gonna set it up, I think right here's fine. We need a spot for, we're gonna get pick a bunch of leaves and a bunch of wood. Let's do it over. We'll set up foundations shortly, but we're gonna just get up a little something. A little something, do our biomass. Do it there. That works. Do one for leaves, one for wood. We'll do leaves on this side, wood on this side. And then we will merge those into a container. We actually have a better setup we'll use once we set down the starter factory, once we start setting down foundations. Uh, let's do right here. So we're gonna set down this really fast. Huh? Come on, don't ping like that. Let's do it. All right. We're gonna do this spaghetti style. We will actually, let's go ahead and set down the other one here. We'll just set, we can line it up here. one will do our solid biomass. Yeah, we could set up more and we can have each one do each one, I, but uh, I'll find that this will be enough. Will it? Let's split that one up anymore. Well, we're trying to conserve power, so for the start, we're gonna let this run. Well, we'll put this 
Can't hard clip, huh? Well, fine. We'll see right there. We made our bed, so let's lie in it. All right, so now we have... All right, perfect. We're going to use one of these containers as our thing. We'll put one here. There. And there. These can attach to something. There. I have... Did that put it above? It is. Luckily, we don't. So we're going to need a third biomass generator. should have enough biomass. So let's top everything off. And then we're going to go on our little biomass hunt. Because we need it. Alright, we're going to dump off most of this stuff because we do not want to carry it around. Nature, here we go. And done. Now well, we got tons of leaves, lots of wood. That will be made into some beautiful solid biomass. And we will be able to power our factory for a little while. Once we get some Mark II, uh, plates here. We'll mark two with belt. Our next step is actually we are going to go do deuterium research. But let's see what our next research thing is finished up. Ah, stitched iron plate just like we wanted. These two are not actually usable until tier three when you get the founder, foundry. So we're going to take stitched iron plate. So the next one we want is iron wire. So we need to get our last hard drive and with any luck We'll snag iron wire as well. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. It's easy to get now, so we'll do our last hard drive and hopefully we'll get it. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go quickly head over and do deuterium research. All right, we got everything we need. We're gonna run over to the deuterium node that is a little ways down here. And we're gonna do some initial deuterium research so we can get our, our, our boots. We can speed up. It's going to make things just go much quicker. Could have probably done it earlier, but good time now. Let's check out when we get there. Okay, I believe the Caterium node is just up there. So what we're going to do... We haven't even set up our foundations yet. So we're going to start being these because we haven't turned anything in yet we're going to set down a foundation right maybe right here we're going to try the we're going to use the new zooping mode Get up there we will change our build mode to zooping and i click too quickly not far enough back so Let's go back here. All right. Go again. Oh, that zooping is so nice. I mean, I use, I did use the smart mod previously, um, but this zooping really did. And I mostly used it just to lay the foundation. So we are really gonna be able to, smart mod was definitely overpowered. We'll be able to do most of what we need with just zooping. And we'll take care of this last one. Oh, come back. What are you doing? All right, now that we found our Caterium node, which is a pure. There's a little spitter guy up there. Can we? Yeah, we'll just do this. Zoop. <laughs>
Okay, now that the natives are out of the way, let's set up some quick Aetherium research. We'll start by putting foundation right there. We need to build a miner, as I forgot. Zooping, you can't just quickly put singles, or you will accidentally do this. <laughs> okay. Let's switch modes back to the default. That's what we need here. Miner down. There it is. We'll turn it this way. Almost got it centered, which is nice. So we can now put a splitter here. This is what I would normally do. Something like this. Put a splitter. Now, we don't have Mark II belts, but that's okay. This will still be just fine. We'll put a smelter on either side here. Let me actually do, it. do a little bit up. Put a smelter there. Smelter there, and that way we can just. No, absolutely not. So we can just have a nice, clean little setup, and this will actually do great. We'll leave it once we're done. We'll leave it running. It'll make us quick wire, which will pretty much last us for a long while until we're doing other stuff. This will work just perfectly. Except that's in my. But that's okay. We'll just put this here. Perfect. Construct there, another one there, and then we just need to power it. And I find that right behind this, we can put our biomass burner, which we'll need to put a hole in a proper space. But we can actually do that by there and there. Run one to the back. there okay this is a this is an easy little setup and I'll just do everything we need so the bio get started and this one biomass burner will power everything here no problem okay, we got lots of room. we're only gonna assume 21 so one biomass burner will work so the first thing, we need some Caterium, so we'll just wait for this to produce some. We need a spot to research, so we will do that over here. Just like this. Now our next hard drive is about to finish, and then we can do our Caterium research. Ah, perfect, just what we wanted, iron wire. We've now gotten the three trifecta that I like to get early on. And iron wire is great because we can use less copper. So if you're short on copper, which we're not really short on copper in our thing, it's a great thing to have. You'll need it later in the game. All right, now we'll do Caterium research. We need some Caterium, so we'll just snag the raw stuff. And let's just speed through this. New resource added to the resource scanner. New Wasn't research done. available in the MAM. New recipe unlocked. Now we just set our refineries, our, our refineries, smelters to Caterium ingots and we'll start producing Caterium. Next. Bin. 
And then once we're done here, we can just leave this running and this will fill up. And then once we're ready to come back later for other things like we need to start doing our air limiters or such why or we need to do some wire production. Merger. Merger. back we'll have some quick wire to start with or we can use it for mark two power and if we can use a lot of it we can come back right tonight but this will at least collect it up and we'll have to do it we'll just when we're done we'll let the biomass burner run on its own until it's out of power all right so we're gonna do mark two power poles as well we're gonna collect the rest of uh, the quick wire we need and the criterion we need and then we'll head back to base Okay, so we're back at base. We've got some quick wire so we can finish off our research. With that, finished our Mark II power poles. Now we're going to need to unlock New building this. unlocked. <laughs> yes, I know the power poles, but we have modular frames here somewhere. I know we picked up some more. There they are. Now we can actually get our boots researched. While we're waiting on the boots, I think it's time we start unlocking some new stuff. Let's start with parts assembly. We'll just turn this stuff in. Now we are moving on. Okay, now that our... Now our boots are done. New equipment unlocked. Well, thank you. Now we're gonna build it. Oh wait, let's, let's get our zip line unlocked. Still waiting on the pod to return. There's the equipment right there. I'm so blind. All right, let's make our blade runners. I love these things. It's like you turn into the flash the first time you put them on in a playthrough. Whee! Steven, why are you jumping in front of my path? That was my spot. All right, I'm gonna, okay. You're not gonna let me jump on you? Go, go back to the pen. Let's see. Now we need to unlock this. I need plates. Plates. <laughs> I love these boot blade runners. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to get our... All right. Let's set up a... Let's set up a quick resource. So we will bring in a container. Yep, we don't have Mark II logistics yet. So now we can actually go grab everything that we needed. Okay, so I've let the resource sink run. I've dumped everything that we got from our crash sites in. Now we got 34 coupons, so we'll take the coupons. Also, while I was waiting, I went ahead and quickly uh, spiffed together a, a reinforced iron plates and a rotor assembly just to build us some plates and rotors and we don't have to do them by hand anymore. We're just letting that run. That said, our zip line is now done as well. We also unlocked blue power slugs and our overclocking. We can actually unlock our second power shard. So we will need plates for that. All right. Okay, we're all set to get our real factory started. We're gonna do that in the next episode. I'll see you next time.